So AMZ has just announced their all new Radeon graphics card, which is the all new RX 7000 series. Now, with this new card being announced, there's a lot of new things that are not only impressive, but could mean big trouble towards the NVIDIA RTX 4090. Now I'm going to go through the things you need to know with the performance, the pricing, the launch date, and of course, extra things that make this card extra special. So let's get started with the performance first. Now I'm going to actually have a photo right here, and the specs you see, the frames you see, is what you're going to get with 4K at max settings, which is not only impressive, but actually quite nice. And of course, not everyone's going to be gaming at 4K, but you probably game at 1440p, like I do with the Xbox Series A's, but this is not the max you can do with this card. You can actually game at 8K resolution with 165 hertz of frames, which is actually very impressive for this card. Now, the fact that you can actually game at 8K is impressive. And what's also impressive, and I found very shocking, is that this card will actually have the 2.1 HDMI port unlike the RTX 4090 that doesn't have the latest HDMI port in it yet. Now, there's a lot of things that this graphics card can do. In fact, there was one of the games that they've given with the AK side of this graphics card, which was uh, one of the Assassin's Creed games, the Valhalla, I think it's something Ragnarok. But uh, they did this at 8K with about 96 frames per second, which is insane. Now, a lot of people at the conference were cheering because not only was it very good at the performance, but also the size of this card. Now, for most of that don't know, the RTX 4090 is extremely massive. It's the same size as the Xbox Series S, and of course, basically is known as the brick. Now the Radeon RX 7900 will, any, will, will not only be smaller, but it's actually impressive that it's actually the size it is. Not only to have you know, all the performance it has, but also looking very small and sleek. Now they did obviously come up with a way to you know, make a joke of the video of their car being too big, but of course that's what competitors do. Now going to Probably what you guys want to know is what displays will be working with this. Obviously, they are working with brands like Asus, Algae, uh, Samsung, especially with Samsung's new Odyssey monitor coming out very soon, which you can probably use this card for. So good job to you, Samsung, for actually getting that spot to be shown in the presentation. But let's go to probably the one thing that most people want to know is how much watts does this take? Because obviously, if you're going to upgrade it to a new graphics card, you need to know how much power it needs. So you can obviously get a new PSU or stick to the same PSU you are using. Now this card will only take up to 355 watts, which is actually not too bad, compared to the RTX 4090, which takes about 100 watts more than that card. So it's very impressive how much power this card needs to give you that much performance. Now coming to the obviously the launch and release date for this card which you can actually expect it very soon so this card will be launching on the 13th of december so you can probably get this in time before christmas which obviously could be a nice birthday or not birthday gift but a christmas gift towards a family member or obviously a partner but the pricing for this card is actually very impressive especially against the rtx 49 so for the xt version of the same 900 you are going to be paying about $899, whereas for the XTX version, the top of the range version, which will cost you $999, which is extremely cheap compared to the RTX 4090, where it will cost you $1,600. So you are saving about $600, which you can probably put into getting a bear case, getting maybe the AMD uh, Jeep CPUs. So that is a big save definitely if, if you're wanting to upgrade to a higher performance PC. But always let me know in the comments below, would you get this graphics card when it comes out or would you rather wait to see what happens next year? But always I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video, please be safe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.